Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Chasing You by Bethel Music. Specifically, we're going to look at the intro and the chorus. Now, we're only going to look at these two sections, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry, where you can sign up for an account for less than 8 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. The intro kicks off with us playing our E major 9 poly chord using our floating sign arp, and we do that for two bars, and then we launch into the intro. Now the intro and all of the choruses are identical, and it looks like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. So not too difficult. Again, we're just doing that E major 7 in both hands and the added ninth up top for that polychord at the very beginning, and you're only using your floating sine arp. Then we launch into the intro. Now, we've got some syncopation that we're doing in our right hand, and then at the very end, we do a little bit of syncopation in our left hand as well. Now, start off with our left hand. We start off on A. We go to E, to B, C sharp. Then A, E, and then B, and we hold it, and we play one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So notice that little syncopation. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So there that rhythm is three E and a four E and a one. 3E e and a 4E e and a 1. And so just make sure you kind of lock into that. You'll be doing a little bit of uh, just, it'll be kind of juxtaposed to your right hand. So you'll be um, kind of syncopated in your left hand, but in your right hand, you won't be syncopated. You'll be playing that this kind of eighth note melody. Now, the melody that we do play in our right hand is syncopated when we start off, and it looks like this. 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1 So notice how the first half of that, when we come down to that C-sharp, um, it, it's pushed. It's a little syncopated versus the second half, it's not pushed. It's on uh, kind of these downbeats and upbeats. We're not playing it in that 16th note pattern. So again, we start off on A, C-sharp, A, G-sharp, G-sharp, B, G-sharp, F-sharp, F-sharp, G-sharp, F-sharp, E, A, C-sharp, G-sharp. So again, that very end right there is basically straight, while in our left hand, it's syncopated. And so the best way to do that is to practice it hands separately, slow it down, then put it together, and then start to pick up the speed. One more time, the intro and all of the courses look like this. Two, three, four. And that's the intro and the chorus. Now, that portion that we just played right there is just half of the chorus. You double it to do a full chorus. Now, coming out of the chorus, we go into the, uh, the verses. As you're coming out of that, you're going to do that little syncopated line in your left hand, but you're going to have to change over to your wide OB stab and immediately come in. When you land on that A, you'll have your stab and you'll be playing your A chord for the verse, which we'll take a look at next. For now, make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop video a few times, and let's move on to the next part of the lesson.